welcome back Tom Lehrer to go over the very exciting Black Widow. Black Widow is the slickest, fastest, burnishable racing bottom paint available. It features powerful dual bio sides that provide aggressive multi-season protection on both hard and soft growth and even the nastiest of waters. It's a perfect paint when speed is the number one priority as we put four special slickening agents in Black Widow that you don't find in any other bottom paints. This is perfect paint for sailboats, offshore power boats, or even your favorite sport fish running out to the canyons. All boats will benefit from Black Widow. We're going to go over applying the paint and burnishing it, so stay tuned. Before you roll on the Black Widow, it's always a good idea to go through and paint the strakes first. This way when you're rolling, it will all blend in evenly and look uniform in appearance. We like to see Black Widow get applied with a short nap roller, either 3 16 or 8 inch. If applying it with a 3 16 there will be a little bit more work when burnishing the finish. When applying with an eighth inch, it will be a little easier to burnish, however, you will need to apply additional coats to achieve the amount of correct mill thickness overall. As you can see here, the finish rolls on very evenly. You will not see any runs or drips as it's not being over applied. There is no right or wrong way how to burnish Black Widow. You'll find every racer has their own way of polishing their bottom. Right here on the left hand side, we used a maroon scotch bright pad and some water to remove any of the high spots and to smooth it out nicely. In the center, we used a 600 grit sandpaper. On the right, we used a 600 grit sandpaper as well. However, I'm going to take it one step further and polish it with a light rubbing compound. First, wet down the surface to help with the flow of the compound. Then, add some compound to the surface. It's smart to take your buffer or buffing wheel and spread the compound first so that before you start the buffer, it doesn't sling all over the place. Then, slowly work the compound into the substrate. Once the compound is worked in a little bit, you can then turn up the speed on the buffer. This will prevent all the compound from spraying all over the place. After the compound has been worked in, you can really start to see the finish of the Black Widow. It really is impressive how well it polishes out, and no doubt, it's going to increase performance on your boat. Here's the final result with the Black Widow after being rubbed out with the rubbing compound. I'm going to take off the sheet of paper here and you can see on the left is the 600 grit finish. On the right, it's polished out with the compound. Look at the sheen and shine on Black Widow. You can't beat that.